The Prime Minister is in New York for discussions on ending poverty. Justin Trudeau is attending what's called the Global Citizen Now Summit. He's also meeting with international political leaders as well as UN and European Union officials and business leaders. But before he even landed in the U.S., he came under fire for traveling to the Big Apple. The CBC's David Thurton is in New York. So, David, what can you tell us about the reaction to the PM's trip? Well, he's getting criticism from the NDP, from the Conservatives, Arthi, about, yeah, jetting off to New York, as you said. We heard from both of those parties in the House of Commons yesterday who uh, frequently criticized the Prime Minister for his travels. Most recently, he got into trouble for a vacation he took to Jamaica. But the Prime Minister's office says that Trudeau is in New York, here at the United Nations headquarters, not on a vacation, but to work. He met with Barbados' Prime Minister, Mia Motley, earlier today. Uh, they had a bilateral discussion, and they spoke about issues. Well, Motley raised issues such as climate change, uh, achieving the Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, Trudeau also spoke about Haiti and also those Sustainable Development Goals. And then later today, they will be hosting uh, a discussion about achieving those goals, such as uh, climate action, uh, providing clean water to people who don't have it, and also eradicating extreme poverty. And then he goes on to attend the Global Citizen uh, Now Summit, where they will be speaking about those issues that I just mentioned, but also uh, you know, uh, providing, making sure that women's uh, rights are respected throughout the world. So Trudeau wants to talk about those issues on the international agenda, but his critics at home, well, they want to speak about those domestic issues that are a plague in Canadians, such as that strike by federal government workers. Let's have a listen to this. If the Prime Minister was serious about respecting these workers, he wouldn't be jetting off to New York at a time when we have the yep. biggest strike here, here, here. in our country's history. Absolutely. That doesn't show respect to workers. So Singh there, you know, saying that the Prime Minister needs to take, a, I guess, a more tougher hand when it comes to labour negotiations to end that strike that we're seeing among federal workers. They're saying, the NDP and the Conservatives are saying that, you know, the Prime Minister needs to be focused on those domestic issues. But, you know, Trudeau's here at the UN uh, with a full plate talking about issues on the international agenda. And now, David, Justin Trudeau is also facing another kind of pressure from the international assistance community in Canada. They say the Prime Minister isn't doing enough on that front either. So tell us more about that. Yeah, very much so. So criticism from uh, the opposition critics, but also criticism from people who pay close attention to what's happening here at the UN. People in the, you know, foreign aid or uh, international development community in Canada are saying that, you know, Trudeau might be showing up at the UN and saying that, you know, Canada is doing all this wonderful stuff and we're doing all this and that and we're spending all this money. But when it comes down to it, they say in the last couple of years, we've cut our foreign aid budget. Have a listen to this. It's a little bit hypocritical for our Prime Minister to go to New York and kind of announce a program for, for, for women and girls with celebrities and with actors and influencers while just three weeks ago he cut foreign aid by 15%. So you can't be the champion of the developing world and then cut foreign aid by 15% for the developing world. So. Trudeau is facing all that criticism, both from opposition critics and uh, critics in the international aid uh, arena. We'll see how he responds to those and other issues here at the United Nations. Thanks for this, David. That is the CBC's David Thurton in New York.